Today's video is about guppy fish breeding. I have answered 15 interesting questions about guppy breeding in detail in this video. Why are guppy fish always horny? Why do guppy fish eat their babies? Do female guppies breed without males? Do betta fish eat guppy fry? Let's find answers to all these interesting guppy breeding questions. Guppies are live bearers, which means they give birth to live young rather than laying eggs. These small, colorful fish are native to South America and are popular worldwide due to their vibrant colors and lively nature. In general, breeding guppy fish is a relatively simple process. They reproduce as long as they are kept with a few males and females in a tank with lots of hiding places for their fry to survive. However, if you would like to learn more about saving more fries and having healthy survival rates on guppy, today's breeding tips will be useful. Before we begin, I would first like to thank you for checking out my channel. We post interesting videos about aquarium fish every week. We observed that only 6% of our regular viewers have subscribed to our channel so far. If you are not yet subscribed, don't forget to join our family by clicking the subscribe button. Also, make sure to hit the bell icon to not miss future content. Number 1. Why are male guppies so colorful? Male guppies have vibrant colors that attract female guppies during a mating season. Males show off and get female attention with bright and eye-catching colors. Male guppies' intense and brilliant colors are a sign of their overall health and fitness to females. However, being colorful has a downside. In the wild, guppies face constant predator threats. The flashy colors of the males make them more visible and easier targets. Number 2. Why are guppies always excited and looking for mating? Guppy fish are always eager to mate due to their biological instincts and reproductive needs. It's important to understand that guppies do not experience emotions or mating desires like humans do. <laughs> Male guppies have a specialized reproductive organ called the gonopodium, which helps them transfer sperm to females during mating. Female guppies reproduce quickly, and females can store sperm for several months. This motivates males to mate frequently to ensure their genes are passed on successfully. Number 3. How often do guppies breed? Guppies are known for their prolific breeding habits, and they reproduce more frequently under optimal conditions. In general, female guppies breed every four to six weeks once they reach maturity. However, it's critical to note that continuous breeding without proper recovery intervals can negatively impact female guppies' health and well-being. Number 4. Can female breed without male in tank? Interestingly, the answer is yes. Female guppies store sperm for several months. Although there will be no males in the tank, this will allow them to give birth to multiple broods from a single mating. This is a primary reason for the crazy breeding population of guppy fry. Number 5. How many fries can a female guppy produce? A female guppy can produce a lot of fry in a single pregnancy. The exact number of fry can vary depending on factors such as the female size and health, as well as tank conditions. Female guppy can give birth to 20 to 200 fry, depending on the brood size. The number of fry produced by a female guppy is influenced by various factors, including her age, size, and overall condition. Larger and healthier females produce more fry than smaller or less healthy ones. Number 6. How can you tell if a female guppy is pregnant? A pregnant female guppy will have a noticeably larger and rounder abdomen than non-pregnant females. This bulging is caused by the developing fries inside her. Look for a dark triangular-shaped spot located near the lower part of the female's abdomen. This spot, known as the gravid spot, becomes more prominent and darker as pregnancy progresses. Pregnant guppies may become less active or spend more time hiding or resting in plants or other hiding spots. Some pregnant guppies display restlessness, constantly moving around the aquarium and appearing more agitated than usual. Number 7. How long is a guppy fish pregnancy? It's critical to note that guppy pregnancy duration can vary, typically ranging from 21 to 30 days. This depends on factors such as water temperature and individual characteristics. Once the pregnancy reaches full term, the female guppy will give birth to live fries. Number 8. Can guppies breed with other fish? Guppies can breed with other fish species within the Poeciliidae family. 
One common example is crossbreeding with mollies, as they share similarities in appearance and traits. On the other hand, crossbreeding between guppies and unrelated fish is unlikely due to significant genetic differences. Guppies have specific reproductive compatibility with closely related fish types. It's critical to consider purebred guppies' genetic health and conservation when breeding them. Breeding within the same species or closely related species helps maintain guppy population integrity and characteristics. Number 9. Why do male guppies chase females during mating? Male guppies often chase females during mating. This behavior helps them court females and allows close contact necessary for sperm transfer. In order to evenly distribute stress among female guppies, it is better to add males and females at a ratio of 1 to 3. In this way, males in the community tank will calm down and females will avoid restlessness. Number 10. How long does it take for guppy fry to mature? Guppy fry mature at different rates, but it usually takes 3 to 4 months to reach sexual maturity. During this time, they undergo various growth stages and develop vibrant colors. Any guppy fish over 4 months are considered as adult and ready for breeding based on their size and health. Number 11. How to encourage guppy breeding in your aquarium. To encourage guppy breeding, it is important to maintain optimal conditions such as clean water and appropriate temperature around 75 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit with a balanced diet. Providing ample hiding spots such as plants or caves can also create a conducive environment for breeding. Keeping the ratio of male to female guppies in a tank at 1 to 3 is essential, meaning there should be 3 female guppies to every male. Number 12. Do betta fish eat guppy fry? Yes, betta fish are carnivorous predators and may view guppy fry as potential food. But the exact behavior of a betta fish towards guppy fry can vary depending on the individual betta's temperament and the specific tank conditions. The fry movements can trigger a betta's hunting instinct and eat them. Separate them into a different container or tank where they can grow safely without predatory fish like bettas. Alternatively, you can leave the fry in the main tank with the betta or other predatory fish. In this case, predatory fish may help control the fry population as they eat them. Number 13. Will guppies breed in a community tank? Yes, guppies are known for their prolific breeding habits, and they can breed in a community tank. Guppies' reproductive behavior allows them to breed more readily in a community tank than species that lay eggs. If you have both male and female guppies in your community tank, breeding may happen naturally. This can lead to an increase in the guppy population unless appropriate measures are taken to control the fry count or add predatory fish to eat guppy fries as mentioned in this video earlier. Number 14. Why do female guppies eat their babies? It's often noticed that female guppies start eating their fries after they give birth. One theory suggests that it could be triggered by stress factors, which activate the fish's self-preservation instinct. Another explanation is that by eating their own fry, guppies selectively eliminate weaker fries. Adult guppies, including guppy mothers, often consume their own fry. If you want to maximize the number of fry that survive, it is crucial to separate them from the adults as soon as possible. Number 15. How to prevent guppies from eating babies. Place a plastic breeding container within your main aquarium, which you can purchase online. This keeps the pregnant female guppy separate from other adults. If possible, set up a separate aquarium specifically for the pregnant female guppy. Fill your aquarium with plenty of live plants and hiding spots where fry can shelter and avoid adult fish eating them. I hope you find today's video engaging and helpful. If you found this video useful do me a favor by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.